Hey everyone, Shane here. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. This is for volume four. It's the, the water balloon flask. And this one here, this video you can use for either yourself to help with the setup or you can show it to your students. And then um, you can use that as the phenomena if you're not gonna be setting it up in your class. The water must come to a boil. You don't want too much water in the bottom of the flask. If there's too much water, there's not enough room for the air uh, to do its thing when it gets hot and then when it begins to cool. Putting the balloon on can be tricky. I'd recommend having somebody there with the um, heat resistant gloves. Once the balloon is on, check to see that it is not clinging to the edge of the flask. And now all I need to do is wait for it to cool. you don't need to put it on ice I do just for fun because it'll um, cause the balloon to go into the flask even further and then for more fun I actually heat it up again just to show the students uh, what happens in reverse so remember we show these videos to give the students a little bit of an experience so that they can create a model that explains how this works. And to get the most out of this learning engagement, I'd highly recommend using the sequence illustrated in the volume four package of the Simple Science session. I wanna thank you for taking the time to invest in your students' learning with the Simple Science session package. Let me know how it goes. Thank you, take care.